Hello, everyone, and welcome to Budget Life with Paula. I'm Paula, and I am here today with a very sore throat. Um, my voice is going to be going in and out. I feel fine. My voice is just not cooperating today. It's been very cold and rainy, and then the next day it'll be sunny and warm. So I think with the change of weather, my voice is just just tired I guess I don't know but don't worry I feel a hundred percent fine it's just my voice I wanted to get this video out um, I am probably like a week behind with my weekly check-in so that's what we're gonna be doing today actually I'm probably two weeks behind but since we're gonna do this one um, today then I'll be one week behind so let's just jump into it if you're new to my channel i'd like to say thank you so much for joining me um i do all things budgeting here i've got a family of a well, family of five um we live with my sister and i am in the process of saving for a new home and so little details kind of videos like these these weekly check-ins and this is from my uh capital one credit card they kind of help me keep a track of my spending. And boy, oh boy, you guys, this is really an eye opener of what's been going on so far this month. And it is a holiday month. It is Christmas month. It is family time. It's, you know, laughing and spending time with family and doing things with family and friends, having a good time. And I have done some overspending. Okay, so I've changed up a little bit and we're going to get right into it. I like this notebook and it is great, but I was working on some things on my laptop and I just decided to do something new. So you guys, we're going to do something new. I have just done my own simple expense tracker and while I was in there, I was just filling in my expenses and I think that's what we will use kind of going forward into the new year I'm going to fill in the week so this week these expenses cover December 1st through December 7th you guys will probably be watching this on a Wednesday Wednesday of this week probably so I'm going to zoom in a little bit further so you guys can really see the damage that I've done. And and it's my old spending habit. <laughs> it's my old spending habit of drive through. So we're going to go through this as quickly as possible with the exception of my voice fading in and out. So for December 1st, uh, drove through Burger King. Um, you will see some expenses here. My Christmas shopping, I did budget for, so you'll see some online purchases there. And then my grocery shopping, of which I moved the money over, um, for, over to my Capital One. So my grocery and my Christmas spending, you'll see. And then the other spendings that I shouldn't have done is up here as well. Burger King was eleven twenty four. Amazon, which is Christmas, was nineteen seventy two. Food Line Grocery fifty ninety one. Cookout, which is drive through sixteen ninety four. Walmart Grocery thirteen eighty nine. McDonald's drive through ten thirty seven. Christmas Amazon thirty two fifteen. Panera Bread forty seven thirty two. Bojangles, $5.89. CVS, I'm not quite sure. We've got a category um, called miscellaneous in my other pages that you'll see. Can't remember what this expense was, but it was $6.42. McDonald's again, $4.63. Sprint, which is Christmas. Um, Christmas accessories, something for the kiddos. $52.92. Um, dinner takeout, $20.83. Hibachi. And grocery Walmart, forty one, eighty three Bojangles, twenty four thirty seven. My next page. Um, 
Bojangles, $5.89. BJ's Wholesale, that's groceries, $1.80.77. McDonald's, $6.37. Amazon Christmas, $136.17. Walmart, that was an add-on item for my grocery. That's why the amount is so small, 202. Walmart, 171, 08. Cookout, 26.97. And Target, Christmas, I put it in Christmas, 34.51. I honestly can't remember. I should have put it in miscellaneous, but I put it in uh, Christmas because I do have budget for it. So let's take a look at the total. So this is my total breakdown. All right. Oh, yeah. This is my total breakdown. I didn't label it that way. But total drive through or takeout totaled up to be one ninety four sixty two. Wow. I just feel like writing that up there. Like, really? We're really back to doing that. The only exception that I'll say is that it is Christmas. However, this is just the first seven days of the Christmas month. So I don't, this is, that's crazy. Wow is wow, 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 in a bad way. Uh, my Christmas budget budgeted items was $275.47, which is fine. I'll give it a check because I did budget out for Christmas. We already had Christmas money already budgeted. Um, my grocery online um my grocery and online order, and I need to actually adjust this and also say and household items because for my budget, my Walmart order along with my BJ's order, um, that also has household items like cleaning products, paper products, things like that um, is in here. So that is a total of $460. Um, $460.50 so far in the past seven days. That's just going to pull us through the whole month. So I went on and did that the beginning of the month. I don't need to do anything. I may need to pick up a couple of items for groceries um, for the rest of the month, but I'm not sure. So, um, And then that CVS $6.42 total miscellaneous category. So here's the total expenses. And let's just look at it all together. Those categories, total amount that I need to pay on my Capital One, it's not due yet, so I'm fine. Um, $937.01. Uh, total amount for, here it is here, grocery household budgeted amount. So this is the thing. I budgeted for the month $325 for groceries and household, okay? So you can tell that there is a, we went over, all right, in that because... We spent $460.50, but I only budgeted $325. My Christmas budget amount, I just brought that down because I didn't have it right here in front of me. So um, the $325 and the $275.47 gets deducted from this $937. Okay, so we are still over budgeted $336.54. So that would include my um, my drive through, okay? Oops, let me go up here. I'm gonna zoom out. Okay, I just slid it down. So this three thirty six fifty seven um, includes this one ninety four because this was not budgeted. Okay, so I'm gonna put that. I'll put that there. Not budgeted. Boy, I've done some damage already, y'all. Ooh, I'm I'm gonna have to pay it off, so I, I'm definitely not going to keep a remaining balance on my um. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Um, definitely gonna pay it. So I'm um, over budgeted. Definitely in drive through. That's one ninety four sixty two, and then I am over budgeted here for my household and groceries. So the 392, I'm going to do it real quick, just so since we're working on this a new way. So taking out that 325, so 135, $135.50, I was over in groceries. I'll write that here on the side. This is something new that I'm doing, so I can go back and adjust my spreadsheet for my next check-in, and I'll have more 
rows to explain everything. So I'm over budget. I'll put that kind of like in parentheses. Okay, so plus this 194.62. And then we're going to add this $6. I guess it added at $6.42. Yes. So that's what made me be over budgeted total of, if you can see my, if you can see my calculator, my calculator has the same amount as my um, spreadsheet printout. So the, so the drive through amount plus my $135.50 over spending and grocery and household plus the six dollars and 42 cents and miscellaneous cvs um spending i am over budgeted 336 dollars and 54 cents this amount would definitely definitely get paid it's just to let me see overall what i am doing the first seven days of december so there's probably going to be some more overspending that I'm going to have to pay for um, this month. I've been looking at my 2023 and there are some months within the next year that I am considering um, labeling as my red zone hot spending months that I need to prepare for. Um, and I'm definitely going to definitely prepare for November, December and possibly January into 2024 um if that's possible because i'm looking at some overspending some family time some things that i didn't budget for uh i'm gonna work on this drive-through this this is ridiculous so this is the um drive-through shouldn't be that much but when you're out and about and you're spending time with family you're driving through you're doing takeout or you're eating um grabbing food and then coming back home uh that's what's happening the month of december here uh but it's eating up my savings and going into other accounts that i don't want to take from or you know, shouldn't re really be taking from, which is my savings. So we've got to pay that this off. Definitely going to pay it off. But going into the budget 2023, my hot red zone months will be November, December, January so far. Um, I'm, I'm still working on my budget. I know we're narrowing down the end of the year, but I really want to make sure that my 2023 budget has all that I need for it. Uh, so yeah, this is how things are looking. Um, and I'll put that here, my totals for the first seven days of December, y'all. It is what it is. I love my family and we've been having some wonderful, wonderful time, but it's just eating up my butt. It go, it's going into my savings and it's, it's taking out and dealing with, you know, having to pay overspending. And that's really not what I wanted to do the end of the year. But we're going to make some adjustments and we're going to watch our spending going forward. Unfortunately, we are what this is the week of December 12th. Yeah, December 12th. So I will do another weekly check to let you all see what's going on so far. All right. So thank you guys so much for this video, watching this video. Um I want to give a quick shout out to some new subscribers that I've been watching and I left my sticky note over. Give me one second. Let me grab it. Okay, I'm back. Um, EA Douglas, and this is my sticky, EA Douglas Money. Um, I'm a new subscriber to her. She doesn't have, I think she's got maybe, I know she's less than 500. So these subscribers that I'm mentioning are less than 500, um, subscribers and I am checking them out and I'm watching and supporting. I ask you all to do the same. Um, so EA Douglas money, Rachel's money moves and cash and stuff. 
passion stuff. These um, budgeters are new to me. They may not be new to you. If you have not subscribed to them, please do so. I am definitely going to place their YouTube channels down in the descriptions below. Um, I just want to kind of support everyone that's on the same, you know, on the same boat or in the same boat and on this budgeting journey. We all do things differently. And so I just want to support them. So please take out the time to support them. Thank you guys so much. I do apologize. I've been drinking hot tea all morning. I'm going to grab some more and probably have some soup for lunch. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a voicemail message. Um, not a voicemail message. Goodness, where did that come from? Leave me a comment. <laughs> Guys, leave me a comment. Um, definitely, I, you know, the tips will help, advice will help. But um, this is just great. Hey, I'm almost at 600 subscribers. So you guys, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it. I think I may do a giveaway um, soon. I'm not sure if it's going to be six 600 mark, but I am getting up there. So thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Um, giving me some watch hours is awesome and amazing. You guys go out and have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.